we can't quite get it in line with the bottom of the steel so bottom of the steel 60 mil below that which is this course which is perfect for our six before concrete lintel we put this bed spread in so it's not a proper angle line Good Sunday morning. Sunday the what? Um, Sunday the 10 past 8. 16th. 16th of April. And we're just at the uh, Alex's little... Slice of heaven. Yes. We'll do the best bacon butties and the best coffee. Um, it's final day. It better be the final day on this big <laughs> steel job. It's a bit more relaxed today because it's basically t finished finished demolition finished tidying up one one steel to patch up yeah one one, one side's done got the other side to do we've got um, a big six before lintel to put in over the door to take the new steel and we've also got another pad stone to put in for the steel that we're putting back in so there are two little jobs on that wall and we've got to reinsert the steels bolt the steels together um, I think that's it. You make it sound easy. Yeah, it's certainly, yeah. We're running out of room in the skip. And, oh yeah, I've got to clean the steel so it's ready for welding. Because that's an, that the that's like an afterthought, the second steel, because that was found only after we took the ceiling down. So um, we'll get in here. We'll get his bacon butt in. He usually has two lately. And we'll get my coffee and we'll head off to the job, which is about 10 minutes up that way. So we'll catch you in a bit. Thank you very much. So what we got? I got my bacon roll and we got a pack of porkies. Mm. Four sausages. 225, but they are the best sausages. What we got there? Just the bacon. Just the bacon. And then the, uh, the old latte. Right, so let's tuck in. We'll catch you at the job. Here we are. Not much room left in that skip. Can be some. Um, mind you, we'll take a few bricks out. Well, instead of that one, you just keep some of the bricks in. Because they're all covered in plaster. A few of them are quite clean in there. I can see one there. I'm going to take a few blocks out as well for cutting over the steels. So, last time I was here was about quarter past seven on Friday night. So it's an absolute shithole in there. I just wanted to get out of there. So there's no point tidying up, we're going to make another mess and it's empty, so... And the help's coming. Let's get in there and go through our little list. Right, we set the laser level up. This is our horizontal line. We can't quite get it in line with the bottom of the steel. So bottom of the steel 60 mil below that, which is this course, which is perfect for our six before concrete lintel, which sits on 150 that end. It's going to come 450 this end, and then the steel's going to sit on top of that. And then once the steel's in, then the rob's can put a um, have to put a wall plate on top of it to take the joists. No need to prop this because it's no wall above it, so we'll just take the bricks out and put them back. The ceiling's got to come out of the way, obviously, because the bricks are behind it, and we need to get them back in. Um, that's pretty much it for now. So that's that set up and ready to go. I'm going to set up this one now, find out our heights for this one, and um, get that knocked out and get the padstone put in there. Don't think that needs a 6 before padstone. Oh, we have got one down there. I might just throw that in. Oh, we've got it and then so list of jobs padstone steel 
which will be propped up on an acro at that end because it's going to be hard up against the joists back where it was in the first place. Brickwork out, six before, sorry, ceiling out, brickwork out, six before concrete lintel in, big steel in, bolted onto that big bruiser over there. Um, yeah, patching to do on there, middle's done, end's done, and it's just a matter of going underneath that, um, that flipping between the steels, which is a good 30 mil at a level. Ours is right. So, so that needs patching. Uh, that bolt won't go in because the steel tube is stopping it lining up. Um, the bolts aren't long enough, so they're going to have to refabricate them and bring longer ones for us. And then there's this steel to weld onto here. We'll put that into position then. And, and then hand it over to whoever's next. <coughs> Pad stones to pack up underneath the steels because they've gone off now. Wall to demolish, tidy up, clear out. <coughs> That's it. So first things first, I'll just get the mix in. What was there? Hmm? Where was that? In the van. Oh wow. Well that's right, the slate then. Um yeah. I'll get this one set out and I'll just get the mix in and we'll set, take it from there. There's that many jobs to do, we just need to get them in order and decide which ones we're doing as we go. So uh, no, there's always a mix first. Can't build anything without a mix. Been off a few days and he thinks he's boss he's a boss now. Right, what time is it? Half, half nine? Yeah. Half nine check up. So, that, that's an iffy one that. That steel doesn't fit on top of the steel, doesn't fit underneath the steel. So what I'm going to suggest is, instead of welding it, they bring a plate, weld a plate, like an angle iron plate, to weld to the main steel, just underneath the flange there. And then the new, this old steel can sit on top of it and be bolted down, because there's still two holes put in the end of it. I'm going to put it on position, but I won't cut it yet. Um, this is all as I expected. Nothing above the wall. You see daylight up there. So I'm going to just take all the all that out. Put, put the uh, continental and just build it back up. That's that. Alex is just on with this. As you can see, just pull that up, Alex, so I can show it on right. its end. Oh, for some reason, I've shown you already, but they, they concreted all the pad stones and shook it off and concrete the whole jam on everything both doors both doors here and then they put this bedspread in so it's not a proper angle line there you go that's a cross section of down the wall see the concrete down into the cavity all the way down so it's nice and strong it doesn't help us and you can see where the uh, thermalite block are which are a bit easier to come down. There's the old with the new. See, it'd, be, it'd be easier all the acros out of the way because just launch it. Oh, well. Take that acro out, you can just pull the wall back. Take that acro out. Out. Yeah. That the back's all supported now. Go. It's probably done with a hammer that. Wipe your pin out.
just um, smack that brick on the top, Al. Smack that brick directly above that wire and it should snap. And again. Right, you should be able to push that from the side. down put up a proper fight that the steel is bedded down below floor level so not much room in that skip as you can see there's the old tie wires they're the ones where you get your, your tie wire jacking you see it's starting to corrode that's just corroded but most of the time they expand whenever you're working a wall and they're sticking out they don't half hurt your head when you bang your head on them because there's no giving them and they're super sharp so whenever this work was done in here, they used them. So that must that must be a thing shouldn't they said four years ago. Pre stainless steel. So the newspapers say the seventies. Seventy nine, yeah, that's true, yeah. So that's down. That's down. That's a pretty simple fix that. That's ready for lintel now. The lintel sits against that brick there. Uh when we're looking there. Up to that brick there it'll take up two courses and then there's just three courses straight back on top that just needs a little bit taken out to get the pad stone in ready for that steel and that steel is just going to be left up on an acro and then um, this fabricator will have to come out and have a look to see what to do with that when they come back to do the welding and put, put us longer longer bolts and they'll need to fix that have you mentioned the bolt hole yeah, that bolt hole doesn't line up, just that one. One last little bit of demolition there for that padstone. <coughs> and then we start putting things back together. Yes. So my first job after break is I think I'll pack up these with, sl with slate and get them done. So that's going off. And that'll give us a chance to get um, all the bits done. So I'll move this out of Alex's way so we can get to the skip, which we're running out of room, I keep saying it. We might just have to pile it next to the skip and then when Robbie and Robbie get their skip, they'll just chuck it in because um, they put all that in our skip so they always a bit of room that's filming upside down hmm? that's filming upside down is it? yeah oh. that's, in, that's interesting good job I'm good at editing isn't it there you go let's go and have a break
Right. God, what a slog that was. I don't even need doing that really because it's underneath that steel, but it's done now anyway. Better than trying to gob it up. Yeah, everything's sealed up and done. That beams are finished, completely finished. This thing can come out in a minute. So, swap sides now, drop on this, get this lintel in first, get all the brickwork done. Well, get the lintel in first, then get the steel across, then brick it all up. So, yeah, there's where it's going. 1985 off that wall. So, that's it. Thank God that's finished. I have to pan across to get it all in. And uh, there's a bit of floor under there. Hey? There's a bit of floor there. Oh yeah, I found the floor under all the shit. Right, let's get this bit boxed off. steel isn't it? We've got a bit of slate, a bit, bit much we use the slate. Just there. <sighs> Do you those like scissor things that Alex had for his slate? Oh, sorry? Those like scissor things that Alex had for when he was using slate. Oh yeah. There we go. Go down a bit, I think. Oh, yeah. <coughs> um, get the um, 
Get the bar. There's a bar. Hang on that acro. Water up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good level. It's one to slide that. You got it. Yep. Yeah. Just one stepping down a bit. You're in. I think I'll have that. Yes. Not too long. Hmm. Okay. So steel's hundred mil too long. Yeah. Only options to cut it then, isn't it? What? Only options to cut it. But we can't leave it out to be cut because it means we have to come back and pack the brick work back up after. Yeah. The only other option is leave it sticking out and they cut it off up there. But it's quite dangerous cutting steel up there. Yeah. So you, why do I get the shit all the time? I never made that mistake, but I've got to fix it. Yeah, so um, not much has happened because we've hit a speed bump. I've just double checked the um, the steel which is going across here, and it's what was it, 2535? Yeah, 2535 to here to the back of this lintel. So, it's gonna make, make it 2640 because the bricks are wider than the lintel, so 20, so 100 mil off. 25.40, that's a 26.40. I don't know why it's 100 mil bigger. Well, it is what it is, but it needs cutting. Um, so I'm gonna cut it in here. Not ideal, but we're not, taking, we're not moving that round more than we have to. How are we gonna get up there? I'll stick with that acro. Yeah. Well, we've got the trestles as well, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it needs going up now so I can brick it in. So we're going to cut it here and get it in. So we'll clean it. So there we go. We've managed to get that freaking piece of wood out of the way. Now we're in position. We've jacked it up. So we're in position now. We've jacked it up a bit higher. So we're going to put a, a layer of slate in a bed, layer of slate in a bed, and then lower it back down, back to level. Nice big pieces of slate there. I'll, I'll cut them up. So I'll just put it out of the way.
ten past six, which is quite earlier than I thought. So, boom, we are done. Well, we are done with the building, but we're not done with the tidying up because we've run out of skip. Uh, Robbie and Robbie are back tomorrow to do work upstairs, so they're going to need a skip because they're taking walls down upstairs. So all, all ours needs to go in that skip because there was a bit of room. So we're going to have to pop back at some point just to have a good tidy through. And at that point, we'll do a final sign off and Alex can do his, his, um, his, his end bit, whatever you call it. So there you go. Just a quick one because we're going to do this properly. Partial rebuild on that bloody wall. Not, none of this was down in the original quote. Everything you see in front of you there. That's still there. That's still there. That ceiling, whole ceiling coming down. None of that was in the quote. And we're going to have to have a word and see what we can sort out. But we've done um, two and a half extra long days on this. So we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. We'll see ya after tidy up time. Right. We're done, officially. <laughs> We've just nipped back for like an hour just to clean up the rest of this uh, crap since the skip arrived, but now you can see it in its full beauty, shall we say. So obviously, as you remember, those walls were there, so it's definitely a bigger room now. Steels are in, so I think the only thing that's gonna be happening now is We've requested for bigger bolts and for this to get re-drilled so we can get that in, but that'll get sorted out. But other than that, everything's done. Oh, and um, they've got a welded plate under there for that steel to sit on, so it's just resting on that acro for now. But that was tough. And that's an understatement. But I'll be glad to see the back of this one. It's done. So we didn't enjoy it, but if you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of this or some less uh, brutal work, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate all the support. This has been Brick Lane with Steve, who's run off while I did all the tidying up. He's up there somewhere. And Alex, the one who did all the tidying. And see you in the next one.